The erection method employed for the construction of tank shall be the jacking method. Erection of shell courses will be done in the reverse order, top shell course first and so on in jacking method. Check the level of foundation based on the handing over of tank foundation report and survey report for tank foundation as per the drawing. Mark the center of tank on tank foundation, and after getting clearance for annular plate laying, mark the 0, 90, 180, 270 degrees coordinates on the foundation from the reference point. Before starting to lay the annular plates, check the orientation and mark the orientation carefully. Fit up of annular plates joints shall be carried out using proper jigs and fixtures. Care shall be taken while fit up such a gap between the annular plates shall be carried out as per approved drawings. Annular plates joints welding shall be carried out by welding alternative joint at four quadrants. Provide proper support by using channel and beams to avoid buckling. Complete the welding, clean the final weld surface by wire brushing. Remove the jigs and fixtures which were used for fit up of the annular joint and grind the tacks. Radiography shall be taken as per API 650. Using the correct tools and tackles will improve the safety of the workers, quality, and time, and will save the project cost also. Please watch my previous videos for how to make cheap and efficient erection tools for storage tank erection. Mark the center of the foundation. Draw the center lines. For smaller tanks, four divisions are enough, 0, 90, 180, 270 etc. But for larger tanks, orientation shall be divided into eight divisions. Draw the annular plate circle. Don't forget to add 5 to 10 millimeters for weld shrinkage during the welding of the annular plate joints. Study the drawing of the bottom plate, look for the orientation of the annular plate. Start laying the plates. You can start laying the adjacent plates from one side or both sides or from multiple orientation degrees. Install the sump, in the sump pit. Complete the welding of the annular plates. Start laying the bottom plates from center. Follow the sequence of plate laying, as shown in the video. Don't cut the opening on the sketch plate that come on the top of the sump. This opening shall be done, after the completion of the welding of the bottom plate. Study the shell plate layout. First of all, check if the layout is clockwise, or anti-clockwise. See the shell course S4, mark the distance 1800 mm on the annular plate radio. Fix the required number of erection stools, minimum 350 mm height, at equal intervals on the annular plate and, transfer the inside tank diameter, on the stools. The rolled shell plates shall be shifted to the tank foundation area and kept along the periphery. The erection stool shall be tack welded to the annular plate. 
Erect the second top shell course on the chairs placed on the annular plate and taking care to match the inner diameter. Check the verticality of the shell plate at both ends of the shell plate and provide temporary support as shown. Check the circumference of the completed shell. After the vertical fit up, install proper supports, as shown previously in this video. Complete the welding of all vertical joints. On completion of the vertical welding, check the circumference, verticality, plumbness, roundness, vanding and beaking etc. Mark the starting orientation of the top shell and erect the shell. 3 mm thick plate shall be kept between the shell courses to maintain the seam gap. Proper erection channels shall be provided at regular intervals from inside the shell. The gap between two shells may vary according to the type of welding process. After the completion of the vertical and horizontal welding, check the verticality, vending and beaking etc. Install the curb angle and the roof structure chairs. Install a temporary support on the center of the tank to erect the center drum. Erect the pre-assembled center drum and middle rafters on the support. Install the outer rafters and complete the roof structure. Complete the welding of the curb angle from inside and outside. Complete the welding of the roof structure. Install the roof plates. After the completion of the roof plate weddling, install the hay rails, then the nozzles, manholes, roof vents etc. You can install the top segment of the spiral staircase if you want. Install the jacking ring. This will maintain the roundness of the bottom side of the shells while jacking the tank. Remove the temporary supports on the tank and for the roof structure. Let me show you the arrangement for assembling the center drum and middle rafters. Note down the radius and height of the rafter from the drawing. Draw the layout arrange temporary supports and assemble the structure as shown. Once the welding is completed, install the jacking arrangement. The number of the jacks, depends on the weight of the tank, but minimum distance between two jacks is 3.5 meters. Lift the tank. The minimum height is, width of the shell plus 80 millimeters. Install the next shell course. After the completion of the welding, repeat the process and complete the erection of all shell courses. After the welding of the shell courses, lower the shell on the annular plate. Install the nozzles, stairway etc. Weld the shell to annular plate jaunt. Final welding shall be between the annular plate and the bottom plate, 